Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. We're gonna continue our surviving Pertam, the Wastelands, and we're gonna jump right into it. Are you watching this video in the can? If you are, please hit that like, subscribe to the channel, and of course hit that notification bell. We need to do something about our cargo situation, so... What can we do? We could pretty much move our truck over and start dropping our um, collection of material actually. So why not do that? It's going to take a bit of time to kind of rotate it anyways, um, especially with this hole now. So we're going to make a pretty much a big left turn right into that cargo or get close to it. And I'll probably build something to make, uh, make it a, collect a collection of it. So let's unpark and let's get going. All right, so we are getting close. I think I'm a little too close, actually. Um, shoot, that wasn't ideal. Let me see if I can back up. Oh, uh, that's okay. I believe I got to change my wheel settings for the crane because now it's just gonna sway in the back like that. Um, let's just get kind of close, but not too close, so it gives us some room to build. But I think, which is perfect, what I did here is have a big opening over there, so I can probably set that up to drop stuff with a ejector or a, a connector let's just actually put this here park it there and we should be good to go so in terms of where we are here the distance wise no we're okay all right so let's make it pretty interesting and we're gonna put up some tubing so we're gonna grab some tubes And we're going to curve this thing down. So, so this is only temporary. So I'm okay with not putting um, a conveyor junction here. So let's just put a curved conveyor tube down. I need it to be slightly lower. I think that should do it. Let's not make it too high. Let's not make the drops too high. We're going to curve it back that way. And we'll make it... this. Actually, you know what? I got to look at the... Actually, no, um, that's high enough. No, it should be fine. So we want to put our uh, collector here. So where's my collector? A big collector. Does it have sides? No, it doesn't. So it has to go up. All right, so um, we're going to have to put it up this way. And I think we can get up here. Yep, we can. Perfect. <laughs> get on the tire. Now we can put our collector going up that way. Looks like I need some steel plates to do that. And since we're on the tire, let's just get this thing done. Alright, we got a collector here. Um, we need to... Get that all welded up. So let's get our tubing material. Okay, so that's what it's gonna look like for now. Looks terrible. Um, we need to climb up here. And just like interesting way of doing everything. Just jump up here. All right, so we're probably gonna have to do um, some small conveyor junctions and stuff like that here. Actually, some large ones, actually. We can make large ones. Um, so what we can do here is... That. There's a bit of a curve. And then we can do... I think we could do a tube. Or no, we shouldn't do a tube. Uh, I think we could put a connector now. Put a connector right here, I believe. And it looks like we're not long enough to get to that point. So, hmm. Okay, so we definitely need another tube. So I moved, the, I changed the wheels up a little bit just to get some more height um, because we were a little too low to the ground to do anything um, correctly. So let's just do this. Oop, that's not right. Put the tubing here, and now we can put the connector here. And that should drop it into this, hopefully. If not, then we're definitely going to be losing some materials. 
Alright, so... I mean, we can move it along a little bit, the truck itself. See if we can kind of drive it along a bit. Okay, there we go. Perfect. There's that. Um, I should name this connector, just so I know what it is. Dumper. Um, I probably need to move a little bit forward. Just a smidge. Right? Do I want to do just a smidge? Alright, so do I want to do just a smidge? Um, I kind of want to back it up. Go forward. Just a little bit. I think all that wheel settings that I messed around with is causing me to not be able to turn. Alright, so I think this will do. I'm a little bit away from it. So, let's just see what it's going to look like. So, go to our dumper. We're going to collect it all and throw out. Actually, no. Perfect. The only thing I'm afraid of is um, a large sheets of ore. If it comes out, how big would it be able to shoot out and give enough space for it? I don't know. Um, a little unfortunate that the storm is coming and <laughs> won't be able to see all this kind of migrate over. This is going to actually take some time, which is kind of a, a bit ridiculous. So <laughs> just want to try it out, see how it's going to look. And I mean, it's moving parts around, which is not bad. I am afraid that once it moves stuff, it's going to be... Well, mo moves a big mass of stone, it's going to be a bit of an issue. I hope not. And my refinery is taking that. All right, that's good. So things are moving along. Um, of course, that doesn't take from this guy. So I'm going to have to kind of manually remove some stuff over as well, which is uh, a bit of a pain. Alright, so it looks like we moved everything from this guy over, uh, which is good and ideal. And what we can do is get rid of this. Oh, got to get rid of this guy first. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Alright, so there's all all the parts are gone off of the croc. And we can probably just watch this thing kind of um release the load, basically. <laughs> Alright, looks like it dumped everything out already. That was pretty quick, actually. I thought it was going to take a lot longer, but guess not. Looks good. Perfect. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Everything's out of this cargo containing um, section of the trailer. So we can kind of get, we can of course get rid of this guy. Don't need that. And it's tossing it out now. It looks like it's dropping some stuff. Um, okay, that's interesting. Didn't do that before, hopefully. It, ho well, hopefully it didn't, that I'm aware of. And we can just get rid of some of these parts here because we don't need all this. I'd be careful which one I take out because <laughs> if I take out the wrong one, everything's going to drop. So, okay. Let me just put in some of the parts, let it drop. It looks like it's... Not going far enough now. I think it moved a little bit uh, for whatever reason. So that's not ideal. <laughs> it's just missing now. <laughs> huh. Anyways, let's just take it apart because we don't need to have all this here. Oh, that was a bit dangerous. Could have kind of destroyed my stuff there. All right. So 
All right, there we go. I'm not a big fan of putting all my inventory in one basket as you see here. Um, it's probably not ideal because if this breaks, I, I need the parts to actually get them out. So that does become an issue. But I mean, that's it's going to be what it is for now because look at all that, um, how much it holds. Um, so that's why it's ideal to have it here instead of in the truck but uh, more things to grind out because we don't need all this anymore so we're gonna have to do that all right so that's done we have a fairly decent base now um not designed whatsoever just yet our cargo containing trailer is looking better <laughs> than what it was looking so that's good and a few things i need to fix is to make these hitches a little longer and equal in, in length also because this one's high up that one's lower as you see here so i think lower would be ideal anyway so i should pretty much um see if i can drop them so let's just move this vehicle away a little bit and let me see if i can actually utilize them in in the trailer way because i do need to have a vehicle um to start looking or getting the unknown signals which maybe not use the croc for that situation but um, probably use something else so let's see if i could put it let's just park it right here for now um the only problem now is i don't know which is which in terms of the rotors so that's an issue but of course a tip for you guys is to actually do this. So if you don't know what's what, sometimes you can easily um, take them apart a little bit and then look for the one that is not complete or which one that's incomplete. So then you can tell um, which rotors for which. So this rotor would be the, the tail end of the croc. So I'm just going to do tail and connect there All right and of course this one has another connection so we're gonna take i have no idea what i just got rid of but anyways we'll take this guy here and of course again we just find the incomplete one so that's the rotor this one's the tail end of the cargo uh I'll just say cargo just name it the right way cargo hitch right okay so there's that so now what we want to do is of course we want to go and look for the tail and detach it so we can kind of drive away and of course one thing i forgot to do was actually um drop the side pistons here which I think I'm out of batteries huh which is not ideal um, am I out of batteries I am out of batteries looking at the landing gear that's not good um, this thing may or may not roll away so let's just prevent that from happening so what we can do is actually throw in some um, little wedges here. Alright, so wedges don't look like it's an ideal way of doing it. There's no power on this guy either. Um, so that's interesting. Everything, all the power gets sucked out for, to this one for some reason. Which this thing doesn't even have that much power left either, I think. Got 27 minutes of battery left, which is not ideal. Wow. So that's not great. The only problem I see here is that I need to figure out how to make that rotor on the bottom um, straight. So that will be this one here. So that's the tail bottom. I should say. The bot. And just got to figure out the rotation, right? So let's just go RPMs of 1 with a little bit of torque for now. Um, our upper limit, let's just say 0. 
Is that going to do it? Perfect. Actually, yeah. Perfect. That worked out really well. So we have the rotation of zero. So we can actually back it up now and kind of fix this problem that I'm having. Which is the lack of power. All right. We're attached. Got some power. And now those came down. All right. So we need more power. <laughs> To cycle into the rest of these things is um what's gonna happen is basically landing gear is not gonna hold it's gonna pretty much fall right actually no once it, once it's attached it should be okay so if we go to our side landing gears right um right here we can lock oh that's the crane we need the cargo ones. So it's, I think it's these guys here. So we're locked there. So that's locked in place. So if I release it, I should be okay. Right? So if I release it. Like so. We are fine. And I think it got some batteries. Not too much out of it. The other problem that I see here is that um, I won't be able to move this guy. It, it, it probably rolls backwards. Um, I need a hitch probably over here so I can move it that way. Huh. <laughs> so a trailer system like this, probably not ideal, but um, hmm. that's very interesting way of doing all this. So it looks like I need to put, well actually that's no, not that bad because all we need is actually a rotor head here. Like so. Right? Which is, you know, steel plates, not too bad. Then we can grab the guy and get behind it so we can release this one here. So, yeah, that, that's not too bad at all. Um, what we can do, of course, is add a little bit more power to oh, let me fix the wheels here okay there you go uh, that seems to i don't know it's, it's a very small little turning radius but it's, it's okay having the middle ones rotate a little bit more help for the trailer but it's not ideal um, without it looks like so here we can grab the crane this way it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to do it you gotta, gotta go this way and back it up a little bit here we go we are looking decent and we'll let that rotor kind of fix itself and what we can do is oh why is this moving away it's not supposed to move away <laughs> all right so it looks like i'm just gonna have to attach it once i get close to it because you see here it started moving away for whatever reasons. And we're out of batteries. Jeez. Um, yeah, just my luck. Looks like this thing just ran out of batteries. Um, so, that's not good. You know what I gotta do? Uh, we're gonna have to put some solar power into this thing. And... I hope it's parked because I can't open the hatch door. <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get some solar panels on this guy. Um, I guess it's it's just has to be done. I don't know where to. I just gotta put it somewhere. To, it's gonna look a little ugly, but we just need it um, to power it up so we can get moving again with it. That was hilarious. That it just f finishes batteries off just like that. Um, at least those guys I believe are locked in so it won't move too far so there's that's okay um, here we can just put it can we put up here yes we can put up here not like a wing which is okay and we can put one <laughs> it's it's not getting enough power fast enough so that's why the front's kind of opening and closing um, so it's kind of like kind of 
So it's kind of like talking to us, really. <laughs> Pretty much saying it's hungry. Alright, so we put a second one here. And we have a flying croc. There we go. That should give us some power for the time being. Looks like we're getting decent energy out of it. Um, can I drive? Nope. I can kind of drive it. Just a little. Um, because I'm wasting some power as I'm moving. But if I can connect to here, that would be great. Ow, that was a little too much. There. I need that rotor to rotate a little bit more, but it's not doing anything because I think it's stuck. Did it get stuck? There you go. It kind of needed more torque, really. And it looked like I kind of kick the crane system a little bit more, so it just moved a little bit. It's not good. And that rotor is not stopping. Alright, so we can attach it here, I think. Oh, you know what? It's a little too high. Because <laughs> I have it set up uh, in a weird way. Alright, so the rotor seems a little... The rotor head is a little too high. So let, let's change that if I can. Okay. We need a rotor head over here a little higher. For now, I mean, I have to fix that later on. Um, I could, I should drop. Well, I should have just fixed it now to drop it, but it's okay. I just want to move this guy away from this one so I can have them individual. So looks like I'm still losing a lot of power, and it, it could be my wheel settings. I might have it at full power, and that's because of how much weight it was pulling um, to get here. But let's see if I can do this. And I'm slightly off. And it seems to be quite high. I'm a little afraid what it's gonna do. Let's hope for the best. Um, connect. That was a bit scary. <laughs> Alright, so we can get to the other hitch and disconnect it. There. Now we have a crane system attached here, which is good. So we can probably move this guy out a little bit. Um, before we do that, let's just change the wheel settings for all of them. Okay. Looks good. Um, we're still looking a little high here. And it could be because of my rotor placement. Right there. The rotor displacement. Okay. Let's just set it. Zero still too high. Interesting. So let's just set it. Mm, just set it at negative 10. Or 0.10. Right there. And that should do it. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, so uh, we probably just need to switch it around. We could leave it like this and drive it this way if we wanted to, which is not terrible. Right? Still losing power because we need more <laughs> collection of the sun. But um, at least the crane system is still working over here. And I still have some batteries here that can connect. I, mean, I can connect it to the to, the, to anything here to get the power, or maybe I should connect it to the base um, to get the additional power storage. But I think that one big battery should be okay. We should probably uh, make a connector to power up the rover itself. So why not do that? Why don't I just actually you know have this guy the crane? I don't think I need it right now. I have the crane system here and let's just do reverse and lock. Then I'll just detach 
and find a way to power this guy up. Um, so we can use it to maybe move around a little bit. And of course, use it to collect, move, move some more stuff. The, the only thing that's left to move in terms of material is the big red truck that's in a hole and a whole bunch of stone that's in the initial mining rig that I made as well. So let's put this guy here. And it's really difficult to turn because <laughs> you keep I keep running out of power here. And you'll see that on the top in the hinge, it keeps opening and closing, opening and closing because it has no power. Um, it does that for whatever reasons. I think if we back up to this portion here, we should have a good view of pretty much how we can make the connectors height. I mean, it already looks decent. I mean, we just need a bit of a platform like we did previously that so we can just add that here. Um, the hitch is going to get in the way. That's not good. Um, so actually, you know what? Not a problem at all. We just need a tube here and a connector here, and we're good. There we go. Got a connector here. And we should be able to back this up a little bit. Uh, we looks like we need a little bit more space. Let's just move this guy forward. Okay. Let's make it a little bit longer, and we can add our slope here. Let's make the slider slope. Let's use the light armor one, the slope 2 by one by one and that should be more than enough for us to just back it up. Um, eventually, if in the, with the garage or something like that, I have to use, I'm probably going to use a piston system to be able to get the heights of the connector here. So it looks like we're a little bit off. Not ideal. There we go. Now we're okay in terms of the direction. Now we gotta get it up. So we can just go and do a height offset. Per yep, height offset will do it. Perfect. So now we can connect here and we can charge our batteries. Perfect. So we got that completed. We technically do not need the solar panels anymore. I mean, I could have them on the top. Maybe as a safeguard just in case, but I don't do not think it's necessary whatsoever. So I'm, I'm gonna get rid of them. Alright, so while we wait for this guy to recharge so that it can pass along some power to the other trailers, or maybe not, we'll see. Uh, depending on the situation, if we even need them or not. Let's just plot out kind of the home. So I'm gonna build a home pretty much right around here. I think this is ideal spot and of course it's gonna be a large grid home so we can have a lot of different decorations so we've looked at like decorated blocks uh, one and two I want to add some other cool little designs there and I want a big old screen too so obviously I'm gonna put one of these big boys here maybe a 5x3 um, HD panel here basically and find a spot for it so looking at this part of the base I don't think we have enough space to build a nice nice home so we're probably gonna have to expand it a little bit more than this and of course move some things around but that's kind of plotted out um, the only thing is I don't I don't know yet is how many floors do I want it to be I think maybe two floors is good enough for me feel free to leave a comment below and let me know how many floors I should build this either one two or maybe more um, I think two might be my limit um, to build a home, but I mean three floors wouldn't be too bad to be honest um, But don't forget other I'm gonna build other things such as a garage a factory a power station and a lot more too so um, This is just gonna be kind of like living space and decorative area. So um, Probably going to do if we're plotting it out I think we're gonna do like the kitchen area here with a window looking out here because that's um, quite a good view and we could also build a little bit of a, a porch, I think you call it, or um, what is it called? The not the porch. The porch is in the front 
a bit of like a balcony outside or whatever it is. If it's not a balcony, I can't find the words right now for whatever reasons. Um, that would be back there. Um, kind of like the, the yardish area. I mean, a bathroom would be simple because if we look at our bathrooms, it's just a simple block maybe. Uh, I'll probably decorate a little bit. And then we're going to probably have that big old TV living space. Maybe a fire pit. Not fire pit. A fireplace as well. To make, make it look pretty nice. Um, and what else is on the first floor? I think that's it, right? Living space. Uh, kitchen. Maybe a dining area. Uh, a bathroom. And... I think that should be it. And then upstairs will be kind of like the bedroom, the office. Maybe another bathroom. And if we need to... We'll make a secret dungeon called the basement um, underneath. And that's going to require some drilling, which we're probably ending up doing anyway. So maybe I should do that. If I want a basement, I should really drill it out, get the materials or the stone that I can use kind of now rather than later. So if I were to do a basement, I would probably, you know, kind of empty out this whole grid here and then drill downwards. So we have a nice little basement to go with. Um, that would be likely just one floor. And we could expand it a little bit further back if we wanted to. I mean, that might be an idea. I'm not sure if I want to do that route. Um, maybe I'll start with a smaller basement just to be able to go down. And then expand it if I need to make it bigger. So, I mean, that would also help with gathering more materials, which would be ideal. So maybe I'll do that first before I decide to start making the floors and make it two floors. Um, ideally, what I want to do also is to make uh, more vehicles so we can weld up the house and all the, and all the factories and everything like that. So I'm gonna make two kind of, kind of like two vehicles, either one vehicle with two sides or or just one vehicle. I mean, two separate vehicles, and that's gonna be a crane system that's a little bit better than this one, and also some kind of um, lifting system where I can sit there. And easy control it by remote control of anything and then um, put blocks down so that way we have more uh, easier access than ha having to climb up and down the steps and everything like that so yeah so I think we are gonna do a basement and let's just do it this way we're gonna say let's just start with this size for now right uh, no, that's too much let's start with this size for now as a basement um, get rid of this Alright, so that will be the basement itself, for now. We'll drill a hole, not too deep, of course, we don't want to go too lo low. Um, but we want to go at least, maybe... Hmm, let's see here, this one, two, three, four. Four space high, I would think, yeah. Or fifth block high, so four blocks down. So we have enough space to walk around, put stuff on. Um, four blocks would be okay. Maybe we want a, a subfloor so for plumbing purposes. So maybe we'll do six, six to seven uh, blocks down. So we'll try to aim for six to seven blocks down, uh, which we, would be ideal. This whole thing needs to be a lot bigger anyways. So we can make a bigger basement if we have to. Um, another cool thing is if we do make a basement, we could make a bit of a little tunnel system t towards the crevice so that we can have, um, we can kind of get through there if we wanted to bit far but there's potential chance to do that i probably won't do that but we'll see um but yeah but before we end the video today um i actually don't want to do the uh basement just yet it's gonna take some time to cl climb up and everything i might want to create that vehicle where i can um lift myself up and everything like that uh beforehand but we spent a lot of time with this uh, cargo problem and moving the trailers so what I wanted to do is actually because I lost my other rover is to make a simple kind of motorcycle with a side cart. So let's try to make that really quickly and see how that might actually turn out. All right, so I got my steel plates and um, we'll add the rest of the stuff later, but we'll build a quick one here. So let's just grab our landing gear, which is going to be the smaller grade one. Dump that down. We're going to have some blocks. Such as that. And maybe we could do one more up. There. We just build it this way for now. Right? 
So I've done in a, in a episode of Space Engineer Experiments where I made a motorcycle with two gyroscopes and the motorcycle mod. So I wanted to bring that kind of onto this um, series as well because it's a nice little rover and I can drive that around um, pretty quickly. All right, so not as quite as I imagine it. So it looks a little bit odd. Um, it is leaning a little bit to the right and changing offset didn't help uh, the high offsets that is I might have to bring the wheel probably a little bit lower for the um, wheel suspension for this guy itself um, should have probably just matched this one to be honest so let me just do that really quick all right there you go you have a motorcycle and I realized I don't even need a gyroscope so I can technically get rid of that one if I wanted to I'm not gonna fall or flip over uh, for the most part um well hopefully but if it do if i do we'll just leave it there it drives okay it's a little bit wobbly Ooh. all right so um they flipped it over look they had they had the gyroscope so i set it to roll automatically if i turn it back on um i rolled it because if i turn this way it becomes a little too heavy and it falls over um, on that side, but it can turn easily on this side But not on this way. Uh, it's okay. It's not the best thing in the world um, It's not the prettiest thing in the world either. It, it's kind of functional kind of not but I just want to give it a try and see how it worked It, it looks like again looks decent <laughs> not the best thing in the world I should have just kept that as a motorcycle to get the unknown signals, but I uh, just really really want to just give it a shot and see how this kind of works out so I mean it, it seems okay as you see here, I can drive it forward pretty decently um, and turn left. It's a little too strong, but turning right, it just tends to tip over a bit. So I just got to slow down before I turn. Um, ideally, we probably want to set the speed uh, to not be too, too much. Well, the speed is at 180. We could probably change the power down to like 20% if that makes sense. So we do 20%, we'll pick up the speed um, eventually, but we'll slow, slowly crawl to it, which it, it seems to be working a little bit better than going way too fast. And if I wanted to turn, I can just easily tap it a little bit as we go and hope we don't flip it over, <laughs> which can be a bit of an issue. So it looks like we don't have any unknown signals to um, try this thing on, but the, what, the main purpose of putting the side cart, maybe I should have put a little bit in the back so it doesn't act like a tripod-ish area. Or, or tricycle, I should just put it closer and match with the one in the back. Um, so that way, it would be a little bit better. Um, or maybe even use the same wheels, to be honest. I should have probably just used the same wheels. <laughs> but this kind of worked out, kind of not. It was okay. But the main point is this here, where I can roll t um, bring the hinge up that way and down. And if I want to collect the unknown signal i can expand this thing here to lock into it and then bring it up like so um so we can bring it back to the base and kind of get it um grind it down basically but right now i could just use this to travel around per tam the wastelands for a bit and explore this way i i might just detach the um side cart and just keep the motorcycle because it, it looks pretty cool and it drives pretty well without this little bit of a side cart. It looks like about to flip. <laughs> so not the best thing in the world. And the storm's coming in. I don't really have much protection. So let's get back to base. I hope it's not a lightning storm because I don't have an antenna up. Um, we're going to get back to base. Let's actually... Um, actually, let's just get antenna up just in case. Because I'm afraid of that lightning storm, which is pretty deadly, to be honest. Alright, so here's my antenna all set up just in case we get a storm um, and get a lightning attack. And I know those things pretty much one shot me. I don't have much of a shelter right now, but we should build one up really, really soon. Alright, so I decided to go back and actually remake the motorcycle that I had previously in the experiment video. So this is the bike itself. If you haven't checked out that video, um, it's made of two gyroscopes and the platform is just um, batteries, basically. So it's pretty much the same bike I made um, with the side side cart there um but this one is just gonna run on two wheels itself but this one 
actually drives really really well pretty well you just gotta spin a little bit or or pitch it left and right a little bit sometimes but it drives a little bit better than the one with the sidecar so let's keep this guy to start exploring but of course not when it's storming because i can't see anything and i might actually just crash into my own stuff so here is my collection of vehicles we'll leave that here for now um i might redesign this a little bit better maybe i just it just um <laughs> Put the training wheels on this side too i don't know <laughs> i mean generally i just use this to collect unknown signals but to collect the part i'd rather just um put it on there maybe i'll just create a, a better rover than the first one that I had but i think the next thing to do is going to drill out this hole make a basement and start on the first floor of the building itself but i like the one this time around because we had a lot of trouble putting um our components into this large cargo container uh, it wasn't the smartest way to do it. It was just a fun way of doing it, I guess. Just trying to make things a little harder on myself for no reason at all. But of course, the trailer system was a bit of a pain. So we're going to end up probably making more individual rovers to make things um, work a little bit better going forward. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. So we'll be getting around building more stuff very soon. So that means more time lapse. So hope you guys enjoy that. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.